Oh, with Tanishtha Chatterjee, uh, the star of this film festival. How does it feel? First of all, welcome to Dallas. It's an absolute pleasure and honor to see you here. No, it's an absolute pleasure for me to come back here. I was uh, in Dallas for the film festival in its first edition okay. two years back okay. with another film called uh, Rough Book. Uh -huh. And this time I'm here with Dr. Rahma Bai, which is the closing night film. Yeah. And to that. yes, it's a very, very inspirational film, I think, and a story. Uh -huh. um, f uh, and it fits the women's programming brilliantly because yes. it's the life of the first uh, practicing um, Indian lady doctor. Yes. And uh, like a beautifully, beautifully inspiring story of her life. Especially we are entering the week of uh, Women's Day, 8th March. 8th March, so it's, apt, it's, it's bang on, it's on time, it's Absolutely really apt, absolutely appropriate, yes. yes. So um, last year has been a very interesting year for you. I saw Parched, you know, very bold film. Yes. And this year you had Lion, yes. you know, so amazing, amazing yes. career boost. Yes. How does it feel? I think uh, the last few years have been quite interesting. You know, I've been doing various different kinds of films, yes. um, from parched to, to you know a very light-hearted romantic comedy, which is an Australian film called Un Indian, to another very interesting film called Island City, which actually won the debut director and oh, we watched it. We watched it. Yes, yeah. yes. And then like Rahma Bai and mm -hmm. Malayan, where I have a sort of an evil role. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been like sort of doing various different things, yeah. and I'm really enjoying myself. Yeah, mm -hmm. just playing different parts and working with international directors as well as directors back home, working with a lot of female directors, you know, Lena Yadav yes. and Ruchika Oberoi who made uh, Island City as well. So, and working with Anand uh, Ji, Anand Mahadevan. So last to last year when I came with Rough Book, it was his film and this year Rakhma Bai is also his film. So okay. sort of working with him Same again. Team. Yes, absolutely. So that's also quite amazing. Yeah. yeah. So um, you're a flag bearer of, you know, um, Indians in Hollywood, our connection to Hollywood. And also you, you, you also in India, you've seen something, you know, something very powerful, uh, women oriented films, you know, you feel responsible. How does it feel in the end? I think it should not be only my responsibility, it's everybody's responsibility, but I think, yeah, I, I have been, um, you know, part of a lot of uh, very strong films with very strong women parts. Um, in the last few years, especially, um, some of the significant women's films in India, like Parched, Angry Indian Goddesses, I have been a part of all yeah. those films, yeah. So, um, I'm, I'm lucky and to get those uh, diverse parts and work with such uh, um, intense directors who are making a change and shift in the narrative um, about how women are portrayed. In, in in cinema mm -hmm. and and it's a good time where women writers and directors are coming forward uh -huh. because the narrative has to change and um, it has to be from the woman's perspective and when I'm writing the story it is a little different it doesn't matter whether the protagonist is a man or a woman mm -hmm. because if I'm writing it even the man will be a little different yes, you know and, and I think the whole uh, patriarchal you know shift from the patriarchy will happen yeah. even when the male characters written are written female. are written differently yes, yeah absolutely. yeah because both the perspectives are different yes, yes and I think you know because we in a society we live with you know it's a combined society we are not we love men it's not that we want to disconnect them absolutely. so we have to take everybody with the change that's absolutely. happening so do you, uh, sometimes for a change, you, do you want to uh, try the typical Bollywood commercial cinema? Would you love to do that? <laughs> uh, I think, you know, the closest that I've come to uh, was a film called Un Indian, which is an Australian film. Okay. But it had a sort of Bollywood mm, texture to it with song and dance and it was a romance. But the, progr the story was very, very progressive. It was of a single mother who lives in Australia and falls in love with a man and makes her own choices and very much a person of her own. So I think... Um, even if I'm doing something a little more commercial or light-hearted, there still needs to be... Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it cannot have, you know, it's gender politics wrong, no. Because I think as artists, you also have to uh, stand for certain things. And, and pop culture is a very, very strong and uh, important, powerful tool to change. So you cannot be a part of things which are sending out the wrong message. 
Well, it was absolutely wonderful talking to you, and we're looking forward to talking to you with more yes. on Saturday. Pleasure. Absolute pleasure, and please come watch Dr. Rakma Bai. It's for the Dallas audience. It's playing on Saturday afternoon. No, uh, sorry, Sunday, Sunday evening. Uh, fifth afternoon. Fifth afternoon. Day after tomorrow. Yeah. It's a closing night film, and we're really looking forward to that film. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Congratulations and good luck. Thanks. Thanks. Absolute pleasure. Thank you so much Thanks. for your time. Thank you. And uh, right now we have the director. Yeah. We have the director of the opening film, which is about to start in a minute, right? In few minutes. And um, director um, and Padma Kumar Paddy with us, and uh, uh, we will be uh, shortly talking to Paddy. And um, would like to first of all welcome you to Dallas. How does it feel? Is that your first time? It's my first time in Dallas. It's beautiful. Welcome. It's thank you. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel? It feels great. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a it's a nice city. It's very welcoming. It's very warm. It's happy, and I love the festival. I love the people. I love Jitin and everybody and and all of you. I mean, it's wonderful. Yes, it's one of the best festivals. Yes. The spirit is great. Yeah, it's a very happy. Yeah, yeah. And, and the audience is a real a movie lovers, movie goers. Yeah. They really appreciate. You would see that in Q and A. Well, I hope so. Yes. I'm warning you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so tell us more about your film a little bit, if you can share that. So Karish, my my film is, it's really a story. I feel for the times that we're living in. Yes. It's a divided world, and you know, I think, you know, I'm an idealist, and I I, I feel that with. Every one of my stories, if I can build a bridge across differences, then I've gone a little. I've done a little bit of a, a, a decent job, you know. And as a creative person, I feel that if we if we don't use whatever little skills we have at our disposal for uh, to uplift human spirit, uh, then we ha we haven't made the most of our abilities. Whatever limited abilities we have, you know. We all have to do our little bit of bit from our side. Yeah. So. Um, Besides your own film, I mean, really looking forward. It's an opening film. It's a huge responsibility in the sense you're setting up the mood. How does it feel? Well, it feels exciting. I was not really happy with the brightness and contrast settings here. So I'm a little nervous about it. I, you know, I've had screenings all over the world, three continents, but I still get nervous before a screening. And yeah, and I, and I wasn't really happy with the, the visual quality of the projection here, yeah, but I, they told me I can't do anything about yes, it. But in the end, it turns out beautiful. I hope so. <laughs> the story does its job. So, yeah. Uh, besides your own film, which movie are you looking forward to see? Well, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the the men section tomorrow. Most of the films, and I'm looking forward to seeing Dr. Rakma Bai because it's a very uh, it's an inspiring story, and it's got Tanishtha and yeah, yeah. Yes. What a wonderful lineup! I mean, opening we have such a beautiful, lovely message in it, and I'm not opening it. I want people to see, but of course we will review it after we watch the film, and then we have a very inspiring story to end with. Yeah. So, any message would you like to give to our audience about the festival? How they should be here if they're watching you live right now? Please come and watch. Uh, I think uh, the curators of this festival have done an amazing job, and I think they're very thoughtful and thought-provoking. Uh, I think they've done a wonderful job. I think it's something to be proud of. And people in Dallas, please come and watch the films out here, lined up, and enjoy yourselves. I guarantee it. <laughs> Congratulations, and good luck for the screening, and good luck for your future ventures. Look forward to sit for an interview later on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> Thank you.